Hello everyone and welcome to another scooter review here on Tom's Gadget Garage. Several weeks back Turbo Ant sent over the M10 Lite electric scooter for testing purposes and since then I've been doing testing, testing, and more testing. The M10 Lite is built as an ultra portable and ultra affordable electric scooter designed to take you from point A to point B without breaking the bank. So how does the M10 Lite hold up? Well, after putting this scooter through a gauntlet of tests, I've got some conclusions for you. So without further delay, let's jump into it. Now, the first thing I wanna mention is that this scooter was exquisitely packaged. There was no damage at all whatsoever during the shipping process. Turbo Ant uses high quality foam in their packaging that doesn't fall apart all over the place. And for that, my vacuum is very grateful. In terms of assembly, the only thing required for me was to bolt on the handlebars, the rear fender, as well as the collapsible stem locking mechanism. After that, all that was left was a few hours of charging the battery before I was off to the races. Now, speaking of the battery, the Turbo Ant M10 Lite comes equipped with a 36 volt, 6.6 amp hour lithium ion battery that can be charged to 100% in four to five hours with the included 1.5 amp charger. The battery level can be monitored on the scooter's LCD screen and is capable of powering the scooter upwards of 15 and a half miles on a single charge. Now, keep in mind that real world range depends on rider weight, whether or not you're riding on a flat surface, as well as some other variables. All that to say, range may vary depending on your riding conditions. I weigh in at 195 pounds and was able to crank out 12 miles exactly in my real world range test. During this test, I climbed some light hills, tested acceleration, as well as spent 100% of the time in speed mode 2, the scooter's fastest speed mode. So, given all of that, 12 miles is a very respectable figure. In terms of speed, the Turbo Ant M10 Lite tops out at 16 miles an hour in the fastest speed mode thanks to the 350 watt front-mounted brushless motor. I encountered no issues at all whatsoever in hitting the top speed, and for those of you looking for a slower and more relaxed pace, consider riding in speed mode 1 for a top speed of 9 miles an hour. One thing I want to call out is that this scooter does not have a suspension, and neither do most scooters in this price point. What you do have are 8.5 inch tubed pneumatic tires that do a great job of absorbing a lot of the impact from bumps in the road. Overall, I found the ride quality to be quite pleasant even when riding off the beaten path. When it comes to braking performance, the Turbo Ant M10 Lite doesn't disappoint. The first thing I noticed when hitting the brakes during the ride was the powerful electronic front brake. It feels like it's the first to kick in, followed by the rear ventilated manual disc brake. Now, keep in mind, this scooter only weighs 30 pounds and the wheels are relatively small compared to larger scooters, so the tires are prone to skidding during particularly heavy braking. But overall, I am pleased with the braking performance of the scooter. One thing I find particularly useful on the scooter is the included cruise control. Simply hold the throttle at a set position for six seconds while riding, and the scooter will automatically lock in on that speed. To disengage, Simply tap the brakes or the thumb throttle. The Turbo Ant M10 Lite comes equipped with a 1.5 watt headlight as well as tail lights with integrated brake lights, which is a huge plus in this price segment. The included headlight is sufficient for lower speed riding at night, but as with most scooters and e-bikes, I recommend using an external headlight to better illuminate the road ahead. And as for the brake lights, when you hit the brakes, the tail light flashes, which helps bring more attention to you while riding on the road. And this is particularly helpful at night. Now, one thing that this scooter lacks is a trip meter and odometer. Granted, smartwatches and phones can track all of this information for you, but it would be really nice to have this as a feature on the M10 Lite. Some of you may be watching this video to figure out whether or not this scooter can climb hills. Turbo Ant states that the M10 Lite can climb inclines as much as 15 degrees. Based on my testing, this scooter can climb light to medium grade hills with ease over longer distances. If you plan to use this scooter on very steep hills, especially San Francisco type hills, this scooter is not for you. Although it has overall impressive performance for this price segment, climbing very steep hills is not something this scooter nor any other scooter in this price range is designed for. In terms of fit and finish, the Turbo Ant M10 Lite has a sleek red on black design that catches the eye. One improvement Turbo Ant can make here is limiting the use of hard plastics. 
I've heard some creaks and squeaks during rides that emanate from the hard plastic trim pieces. The good news here is it's intermittent and only present if you push and pull on the stem, for example, in cases of hard braking. And finally, we have portability, and this is where the Turbo Ant M10 Lite shines. This scooter comes in at 30 pounds, making it very light and relatively compact. I've had no issues throwing this into the back of my car. The stem is also easy to fold, making storage a breeze. Over the past week, I've been riding around on this scooter and genuinely have really enjoyed it. One of the advantages of smaller scooters like the M10 Lite is the fact that they are so nimble. Operating them in tight quarters or crowded places is a breeze, which is more than I can say for much larger scooters or e-bikes. I know we associate turning radius mostly with cars, but let me tell you, it matters with scooters as well. To be completely honest here, I had very low expectations for this scooter, especially considering its sub $400 price tag. I mean, the reality is that $400 doesn't quite get you as much as it used to. So considering this scooter delivers 16 mile an hour top speeds, upwards of 15 miles an hour of range, as well as a smooth and zippy ride, I'd say it's a solid deal for a solid price. And speaking of price, they've dropped it down to $299 for Black Friday, which to me is unbelievable. To sum it up, the Turbo Ant M10 Lite impresses with its range, speed, and portability, making it a strong contender in the ultra-affordable scooter segment. Despite some minor quirks, it stands out as a value-packed and budget-friendly option for your daily commutes or leisure rides. Now, to get the latest pricing on the Turbo Ant M10 Lite, check the links in the description. And with that, it's a wrap of our Turbo Ant M10 Lite electric scooter review. I hope this content was helpful for you. If you have any questions or thoughts, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.